Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, let me get my hot bar and stuff back. Now, uh, ever since I built this restaurant, it's actually kind of partially been over a cave. And I've really never been down here to see what's in there. So we're going to go do a little exploring here. I think there's a, yeah, there's some vines right here. So I don't kill my fool self getting down here. There we go. All right, that, that just goes right back up to the jungle. Okay, that's, there's a sign here. Somebody's been here. Follow the signs for the best dwarven food ever. Um, okay. Huh. This way. This way. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, just, uh pick my way down here okay okay this way right. oh there's a lot of lava down there okay okay oh there's there's glass over oh well that's cool that's a, a little glass floor uh, the the diggy diggy hole in the wall authentic dwarven cuisine served here I wasn't aware that dwarves had cuisine I, I thought they just had like battle bread which you don't really eat and I don't know rocks gold what what do dwarves eat um, well it's nice nice place cozy um, nice atmosphere nice little bar here let's see let's just go back um, doesn't look like there's anybody here right now though but uh, oh here we go here's a uh, ham bones oh that looks appetizing I I'm pretty sure those aren't supposed to be stored just out at room temperature like that. Uh, but you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not the health department. I'm not gonna get in your business. Oh, here we go. Here's some. Um. Okay. Right. Dwarven cuisine. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. And oh yeah, baked beans. Yeah. Uh huh. So, <laughs> since we're down here, we might as well learn how to make this authentic dwarven cuisine, shall we? So, how do we make a Jaffa? Bless Harvest Craft's little heart. It is bakeware, an egg or, uh, I believe, soft tofu will do it. Flour, oranges, which you can now get by bone mealing the ground. You do not have to have forestry to get them. A chocolate bar, which is saucepan, cocoa powder, milk or soy milk or coconut milk, I believe, will also work, and butter. I put those together and put all that together, bake it up, and get your delicious, authentic dwarven jaffa for your baked beans. It's a pot, beans, pork chop, I believe firm tofu will also work, sugar, and a mixing bowl, and yeah, that's just, um, Right. Okay, well I'm not hungry enough to eat any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it out here. Um, where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> We're gonna put it out here for somebody to enjoy. Well that's um yeah, that that's really something. Well I, I don't wanna know what the ham bones are doing out there. Okay, yeah, now that I look around a little bit, there's the there's the uh frame Jaffa's there, there's the uh what is this? That's a pig iron pickaxe. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So obviously this is the Yogg's Cast tribute this week. <laughs> and now why am I doing this? Well, because I mentioned in yesterday's episode of Resonant Rise that my Resonant Rise mainline series is probably drawing to a close soon. And what is it going to be replaced with? I mentioned possibly the Crack Pack. I also mentioned Yogg's Cast Complete. And I have decided that that is the direction I'm going to go. I'm actually going to do uh, kind of a, kind of split the Yogg's Cast Complete series between a single player world and uh, some multiplayer action on the Myranium server after it does its latest restart. So that will give me an excuse to spend more time on that server with my Myranium server beds. 
And just so you know, the single player world will be family friendly in the same way that the Attack of the B Team and Agrarian Skies playthroughs are. And by which I mean anything that you can't see on network TV, I'm going to cluck out. The server series is going to be a little bit more <clears throat> mature um, due to the fact that I'm going to have mumble on and trying to bleep or cluck every bad word that floats across the mumble is going to be a full-time job. So they will be, they will be marked, they will have distinctive thumbnails, so parents you will be able to tell which ones you will let your kids watch and which ones you want them to stay far away from. So that is our show for today and our special uh, oh, we I'll spin around on the bar stool here. <laughs> Our little uh, Yogg's Cast tribute and little taste of what's to come on the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if there's any kind of a cuisine you want to see me do on the show here, or if there is any type of food mod that you have not seen spotlighted that you would like to see somebody explain for you, just drop me a comment and I'll see what I can do for you. Until then... Bon appetit, and I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.